Hi, welcome to Hands-On with Force Effect and Force Effect Motion. In this series, we will work to understand the concepts behind crane design. In this part, we'll review some of the concepts that affect the design of cranes and also look at several different types to understand how they work. There are a few concepts that are important to understanding the design of a crane. The first is torque, which is the tendency of a force to rotate an object around an axis. We explored calculating torque in our mousetrap catapult video when we calculated the torque generated by the spring on our mousetrap catapult. Bending moments are when a torque is applied to an object to cause it to bend. Bending moments are one of the most common reasons things break and will be critical in the design of a crane. Here we have an image showing what might happen if you bounced on a diving board with too much force. We would expect a board to fail somewhere near the pivot point. A crane works very similarly. Too much force on the end might cause the crane to buckle as well. Next we have linkages, which are used to transfer motion and forces over a distance and to increase mechanical advantage. Depending on the type of crane you design, there may be several different types of linkages involved. Pulleys, belts, and chains are also important to the design of cranes because they allow us to increase the mechanical advantage to provide more torque. Depending on the type of crane, several variations of pulley systems might be leveraged as well. Finally, we have compression and tension forces, which are opposite forces that will need to be considered during the design process. Compression forces are those which compact or crush an object. In the mousetrap catapult game, the impact of a projectile with the target will cause a compression force. Tension is the opposite of compression. It's the force that pulls or stretches an object like the bungee cord used by this bungee jumper. Now that we've reviewed the concepts a bit, let's look at a few different types of cranes. Cranes come in many different forms. Some are attached to the buildings they're helping to construct. Others might be driven to the construction site. And some are even used indoors for repairs and maintenance. But those who have designed them had to take into account each of the concepts we reviewed to determine the best combinations of features to meet the needs of a specific job. Some items worth considering when determining the type of crane you might design for a job include its lifting capacity, where it might be used, does it need to be moved frequently, and what environment will it be used in. There's obviously many more, but after considering this information, we'll be ready to move on to discussing the ways Autodesk Force Effect and force effect motion can be used to evaluate some of those design criteria.